Back in June last year, we visited the Bew Canal, which turned out to be one of the worst fishing trips to date. I smashed my phone, lost a carp due to a kayaker over my line and soaked our bed with water. A few months later I returned to the canal whilst working on an epic 7 day multi-species challenge with Carl. I arrived there excited to give it another go, convinced that it couldn't possibly be worse than the first time, but how could I be so wrong? Where's the water in the canal? Something doesn't look right here. Something really is looking very very strange. This time round some guy had left the lock open on a section of the canal overnight, meaning thousands of litres of water had been drained from it. The ducks can stand in the middle. This left me pretty concerned that what if the majority of the fish had died because of the lack of water and my chances of catching were slim. This summer we then got thinking about how unfortunate we were to still not have landed a fish and wondered if this canal was actually cursed. Well, we were going to find out. Is this a sign to not go to Bude again for the third time? Probably. And we've still got four hours on the journey. Before we tackled the long journey, we needed some super healthy food. Two double bacons, each normal fries, one fanta, one homemade lemonade. Lovely. ASMR. <laughs> With our stomach satisfied, we hit the road. It took longer than expected as a weird looking pigeon slowed us down, meaning we would be arriving at night. So what I remember from last time we were here, when we walked down, we liked the look of the spot and we actually saw them milling around in the corner of the spot that we've come back to. So it would be stupid if we don't actually put some bait down there to see if that is a regular spot that they go to. And uh, I just, I just <laughs> completely missed the flipping water. That's just for the snails family that I crunched. <laughs> <laughs> nice, on the money. The wind has picked up today. We've just had a little walk and looked at our baited spots from last night. And nothing's happening. There is no bubbling, no show. So we're gonna to continue to walk the canal because apparently that's the best way to catch these fish is walking, looking for bubbles and shows. So that's what we're gonna do. I've done a blase Danny taking a chill this morning but it's definitely time for me to get fishing, so I think it's time to move. I'm gonna go over the bridge where the pub is, get a drink for the road, some lunch, and then I'm gonna get my rod in. I don't think this is the spot to be fishing on. It's really windy, cold, and there is just boats everywhere, so hard to put my rod in the water without a boat going over it. I just don't think the carp are here. But what I do know is the pub is here, so it would be cheeky not to have a beverageino. Cheers for a nice sunny day in England. Lemonade, or, or orangeade. I think this will warm our souls. Oh. New Cornish pasty rating. What's the rating? Very nice. Mmm. Really nice is not out of one and ten. First bite, it's like a solid eight and a half. We spent the next few hours walking up and then back down the canal trying to find where the fish were held up. We spotted a slack away from the cold wind and decided this could be the right location. It's also not mine and Danny's style of fishing. We quite like the wild lakes, wild rivers, not many people in sight, and this is completely opposite. It's like the most hectic day. We're on a bank holiday session. We couldn't get any worse if we tried. It's like the complete opposite of our usual fishing. We've still got a lot of time. There's still a lot of time in the day to get this done, and if one person can do it, 
Uh, it's not me, it's Danny. Danny, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm waiting for Danny to catch a feature now. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm in. Oh my God, I'm in. Oh no, oh it's fighting. Oh no, it's fighting way too hard. Oh no, I might lose this. It feels like it's... Oh, it's wrapped around that rock. No. Please, no. Oh! oh. This place is so annoying. I'm genuinely annoyed at that. Oh my... Oh! I knew that was gone. It, it went straight round that log. That felt absolutely massive. It fought so hard. When will we be rewarded with an actual fish on the bank? That happened exactly the same thing last time. A boat snagged me up. This I'm actually shaking. This time round, a flipping log. Honestly, I'm gutted to get that opportunity to actually play a fish and it felt actually quite big. I'm just hoping we get another chance because that's <laughs> savage. Well, I figured out what I was snagged on because I just reeled it in. It's so heavy. This humongous log. That is what has lost me a fish. That wasn't there. It would have been a landed fish, probably. So we've hit the one hour mark where we get to the point where it's time to go to the next spot. Another carp loss from this canal. I was starting to really believe in the curse. However, Danny had some good news to share. So some positive news for us on the wake and bait front. Myself and Callan have finally found the home we've been looking for, for many years. This could be our new home in less than a month. Oh, should be our new home in less than a month if all things go well. Feeling pretty blessed right now, not gonna lie. That's that bird, babe. That's not a bird. It's not a bird. It's not oh a bird. God. It's not a bird. Oh my gosh. It's not a hey, oh, come on. Ah. funniest thing is you always have a good feeling and then you wait there for so long because you have the good feeling and then nothing happens and then you're like oh was it a good feeling or was I convincing myself it was a good feeling I do that all the time so I don't know I think give it maybe like five more minutes oh this is so sad we've got a bit of bush to protect us I'm not in a rain proof jacket camera's not got a camera bag now because it was getting heavy for us mm, this canal is cursed i swear this canal is cursed but i'm calling it the cursed canal that is the title of this video the cursed canal every time we come here something wrong happens yes okay it's rain we get rain we're in england but it's not just rain it's broken phones it's flipping losing two carpets oh it's just not ideal oh my days that is just oh it's just great it's so great look at this wow in the rain, no jackets, probably gonna blank. Viewed canal. Oh my gosh. Eventually the rain cleared, but at this point we were expecting the blank and started talking about when we would be able to get back down the canal at some point next year. Wait, 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 wait. Not in the snag, not in the snag. She's in, she's in, she's in, she's in, she's in. She is in. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a nice one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> <sighs> Finally. 
The curse had finally been broken for Danny. The smashed phone, lost fish, and sleepless nights were all worth it in the end to finally be able to lift up a carp and show you what we worked so hard for. I get paid to be a cameraman, so you think I would just click the red button here to take the video and capture the moment. However, I don't know what happened. The footage is gone. We got a picture instead. I'm sorry. Looks like my curse continues. <laughs>